So now we'll discuss about the clinical study report. So as we know that clinical study report is a document which is submitted to the regulatory authorities and which contains all the details about the uh, clinical trial process, like how the clinical trial process is conducted and uh, the significant information which is uh, obtained from the clinical trial process and also from the statistical analysis, what is the overall discussion of the result which is obtained from the a clinical study so that is included in the clinical study report okay so clinical study report or sometimes it is also known as clinical trial report so clinical study report is one of the many types of regulatory documents that comprise a marketing application for a drug biologic or device okay so clinical study report it is a type of regulatory document which consists of a marketing application which is used for uh, which is used for the submission which is submitted to the regulatory authorities as we have seen that the, there's a last module in ctd which is related to clinical study report only for any drug or any biological or any medical device a csr is a descriptive account of a single clinical trial accompanied by tables listings and figures TLS displaying all study data and results. Okay, so now this clinical study report is a uh, it contains a descriptive amount account of all the clinical trials. So for CSR for each phase, like for phase one, phase two, and phase three, there will be an individual clinical study report which is made, and it contains all the information related to that clinical trial process according uh, along with the TLFs. TLFs means the data which is supported by tables, listings, and figures, and, uh, and also all the study data and the results are included in that clinical study report. CSR is an extensive and complete document which has to be submitted for obtaining a marketing authorization of IMP to the European Union or uh, uh, to the European Union or the United States. So CSR, it is a complete document. It is extensive, means a detailed document which contains all the information related to the clinical trial process and which is submitted by the marketing authorization holder to uh, for obtaining the marketing uh, by the marketing authorization holder to obtain the marketing authorization of that investigational product to European Union as well as to United States. So if the marketing authorization it is required in European Union. Then the CSR, it is submitted to European Union and, it is, and if it is required in United States, then it is submitted to United States. The contents of the CSR is similar to that of a peer-reviewed manuscript. So the content is uh, not very different, but it is similar to that of a peer-reviewed manuscript and as it is written for our article, but the difference is that that, that peer-reviewed manuscript, it is published, but this CSR is not published anywhere. It is only submitted to the regulatory authorities the next is the csr has to follow certain rules made by format of a clinical study report recommended by the international conference on harmonization that is by ich guidelines e3 on structure and content of clinical study report which was approved by which was approved in 1996 so in the year 1996 ich has approved the structure and content of clinical study reports and which is given in the guidelines e3 okay several guidelines are applicable to the clinical development of imps that is ich m4e in which like we have just seen the guidelines and ich e3 guidelines e3 guidelines of for the submission of ctd canadian uf us fda and tga their regulatory authorities will also provide the guidelines for the submission of csr indian regulatory authorities uh, they have provided the new drug clinical trial rules for which the link i have already sent to you and uh, they will also provide uh, with the, uh, the in that uh, document if you'll see you'll find a section in which the contents which are to be included in the clinical trial report that is provided okay each guideline has own sections of rules which csr has to be followed so in whichever country the csr is to be submitted the they have to following the guideline of that particular country you have to write the csr uh even country has its own set of fundamental rules in order to prepare csr however the ich e3 guidelines only provide information on the structure 
and content of full clinical study reports okay so the clinical uh, new clinical uh, new drugs clinical trial rules 2019 which is given by cdseo they have also taken in account the content which is specified in ich e3 guidelines okay so keeping that in uh, uh, in uh, 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 loop or keeping that in mind the ic uh, the guidelines of ich e3 the content and format of ctd guideline uh, so of sorry of the csr or the structure and content of the csr report is created so now what is the structure of a full csr report according to ICH E3 guidelines. So first, it contains the title page, and on title page, all the information related to the clinical trial process, like what is the study title, what is the protocol number, what is the version number, what uh, where the name of the name and address of the site where the study is conducted, name and address of the sponsor, name and address of the CRO if involved. Then what is the patient accrual date and end date? Accrual date means accrual start date means when the recruitment of the patient started and when the recruit of the participant stop so all that information is given on the title page then next is the synopsis so synopsis contains in a summary form what are the significant findings from the from starting the clinical trial till end so that all significant finding are summarized in the synopsis uh, then the table of contents then list of abbreviations and the definitions which are used then ethics so what are the ethical considerations or the ethical guidelines which are followed like if it is in india then we have to follow the icsgcp gcp guidelines new drug clinical trial rules 2019 uh, principles of declaration of helsinki and also the icmr guidelines are followed for conducting the clinical trial so that should be mentioned in a statement that all these guidelines are followed for conducting these clinical trials then investigators and study invest uh, administrative structure so you have to provide the list of investigator or if there is a sub investigator or co investigator so the name and to which site they belong that you have to write and all the details about all other staff which is involved in the conduct of the clinical study so that also you have to right then you have to write the introduction in the same way as it is written in the protocol so, so the same introduction can be also be copied here in a csr then what is a study objective primary objective uh, secondary objective so that all information which is as it is mentioned in the clinical study protocol that can be mentioned here then investigational plan so means what is the investigational plan procedure what is the study design which is followed whether it is done randomly randomization on non randomization technique which is followed so all information about that investigational plan is provided then next after that the study patient so what is the inclusion and exclusion criteria and what is the approximate number of participants who are included in the study not sorry not the approximate but the actual number of participants who are included in the study so that information is provided then how the efficacy and safety related to the drug product is evaluated so how the data is obtained and the analysis is done so all that information is provided then overall discussion and overall conclusion so what is the overall discussion and what is the information which is available like which can be calc which can be uh, provided with through this information or uh, like so that information the discussion and the overall conclusion which is provided so all that information is shared then after that tlf uh, uh, the uh, for supporting the data if there is any tables figures or graphs which are required so that is also included in the text the uh, reference uh, list should be provided and also the information about the the appendices or uh, like the appendices it should be attached along with the study uh, sorry along the additional documents which are required so that depends very upon country to country so that should be attached in the csr 